Welcome back to Who The F*** It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts announced for Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Against The Current. They're a three-piece pop rock band from New York. If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, Who The F*** Are Against The Current? Against The Current are made up of three members, lead singer Chrissy, Dan, and Will. They're from Po, 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 Keepsy. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, in New York. Their Wikipedia page claims them as pop, pop rock, pop punk, and alternative rock as genres. I would dispute the alternative rock part of that. I would just about allow pop rock. When it comes to their most, most more popular recent records, I would describe influences from people like Paramore. But Chrissy's vocal style also reminds me quite significantly of the lead singer of Paris. Never thought that I would feel like this. Who we've uh, done a Who the F*** video about before. The band formed in 2011. They gained quite a significant amount of traction with a lot of their covers on YouTube. Cover videos include Paramore. Ain't it fine? Taylor Swift. And Bruno Mars. In 2014, they released their debut EP, Infinity, and following the release of their second EP in 2015 entitled Gravity, they announced that they'd signed a recording deal with Fueled by Ramen. Fueled by Ramen is most notable for signing 21 pilots. Other artists include Swimmers. Panic at the Disco and Paramore. They released their debut album In Our Bones in 2016 and in 2017 they collaborated with Riot Games, the developer of the incredibly popular League of Legends series on the single Legends Never Die for the 2017 League of Legends World Championships. They would also go on to perform this at the opening and closing ceremonies of the League of Legends World Championships. This made headlines as, as a performance for its use of a giant f off augmented reality dragon. One of the first uses of augmented reality at a live sporting event. In September of 2018, they released their second studio album, Past Lives. And to date, they have 1.9 million subscribers on their YouTube channel and have had over 326 million views in total. Their most popular record is Legends Never Die. Currently sound 149 million views. However, Chrissy, the lead singer of the band, also features in the cover of Justin Bieber's Beauty and the Beat. currently sat on 149 million views. It's worth noting that neither of these tracks are included on their YouTube channel. The, mo the most popular video on their channel is their cover of Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Poof's See You Again. currently sat on 36.5 million views. This will be their second time playing Reading and Leeds. Their first time was in 2017, when they took to the main stage and played in between Vant and Architects, a very interesting sandwich if I don't say so myself. And this year, they're back to play the main stage in between Alma and The Hunter, a much more appropriate position in my opinion. Researching this video has been a bit of a rabbit hole for me, has led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole. I'm really interested in these artists that are starting out their own career on YouTube, and other, other kind of platforms. It reminds me of MySpace people, like Calvin Harris, back in the day. And what they've managed to achieve is really, really impressive, and they don't seem to be following any, um, any trends in the music industry, or they don't seem to be following kind of standard, get signed and get your album out kind of, uh, kind of journey. They're, they're doing something a bit different, which I quite like. I'm quite interested to see how they do their live sets, because they, they have a lot of covers. They've got two albums of their own music and a lot of covers, so do they do half and half? Do they do more like their covers? That seems to be what they're most, most popular for. But regardless, this really isn't a sound that I'm really into, and I'm not sure that I'll be rushing to see their set. So I'm going to go with a 2 out of 10. What do you think? Are Against the Current a band that you're excited to see at this year's festival? Have you been following them for as long as they've been playing music online? I'm interested to see what people have to say, really. I like the, uh, the conversation that we have. Thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.